one of the first steps I got to do is take down all this plywood that came with the trailer so I can insulate the walls. Um, not really much to it. I made sure that I had my builder use Phillips head screws. I've heard of some people that are using some weird screws or even like a, like a nail kind of a screw that shoots in with a gun and it's really hard to get out. Um, so this process should be quick and easy. Um, you'll see it in fast motion, so it'll be really easy and quick for you. Uh, I'm also going to mark all the panels. Um, I don't think I'm going to be reusing these as wall panels, but just in case, I'm going to mark them all so they'll fit back exactly where they were. Um, so, here we go. Alright, bust out the screw gun. Start pulling out these screws. Okay. Phillips head, self tapping screw, comes out super easy. Checking real quick, one small issue here with the wiring. They drilled a hole through the wood, ran the wires through, connected everything, so it's kind of wired into the wall. So just have to disconnect uh, my brake light and my license plate light, uh, get the wires through and then reconnect them. Gotta stop for a little bit at least. Um, on this side of the trailer where the uh, door is, uh, what would be the passenger side of the trailer, the door hinges uh, are bolted through this plywood. So I'm gonna have to take the door off uh, to get that piece of plywood off. All right, the next problem we gotta tackle is the uh, locks and the hinges on the side door. Uh, they're bolted through the plywood, so uh, even though the plywood is just tacked on for me to easily remove, it's uh, a little bit of a headache. So let's have a look at it and figure out what we're gonna do. All right, so these are the heads of the bolts that hold the bar lock uh, on the side of the trailer and the door hinges. There is four sets of two like this. Ugh. They mount these bar locks and the door hinges. So I've got to either unbolt everything, which I don't even know if I have a Torx big enough for that, and take the plywood down, find some way to reinforce it, and then put everything back up. But what I think I'm going to do is just cut around here with a saw very carefully and uh, remove the plywood and find some way to trim around that uh, when we're you know finishing the walls. So, immediately changed my mind on cutting around the hinge. Um, I've unbolted the bar lock, 
had a size 55 Torx nut um, on the other end of a carriage bolt. So um, luckily I had that in the kit. It was the very biggest size Torx I had. Um, so I just took that off. I'm going to pull this plywood off off of this side, try to reattach the bar lock and see how it snugs up. I might have to get a shorter carriage bolt, um, but it should be, a, uh, should be okay. So we're going to test that, see if that works, and then if that does work, we'll do it to the door hinges as well. Um, I didn't want to undo any of that until I knew this would work. I figured taking off the bar lock is pretty minor. I always just bolt it back up there. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> So, uh, it's going to work out fine. I do need to get carriage bol bolts that are about three quarters inch shorter to compensate for moving the three quarter inch plywood. Uh, but uh, shouldn't be a problem. I think I can get them at Lowe's. Uh, these are stainless, so I'll definitely replace it with stainless. Uh, let me show you kind of what we ended up with here. If this will... Uh, just let me move over here for a second there we go and you can see those carriage bolts coming through and they come in so far that I can't obviously get the Torx bit back in there to tighten it up those are just you know finger tight so a couple of shorter carriage bolts will do the trick and I'm gonna do the same on the other side and uh, yeah I think we got it solved so we're gonna tackle this problem with the wiring uh, that was routed through the plywood. Um, pretty simple fix. Just gonna use this saw and uh, kind of cut a notch, slide the wires out. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right. So here's what we got. Uh, tail light here. Wiring goes through the plywood. Um, and it's already spliced nice and tight. I didn't want to cut that and re-splice it. So we're just going to cut two uh, notches right there and slide the wiring out. down so let's have a look at some of the details here inside the trailer our studs are one inch square tubing uh, 16 inch on center there's a couple that are inch and a half by one and uh, also the ceiling uh, those are one by ones 24 inch on center now, I forgot to mention in the intro video you can tell it's curved. I don't have a V-nose or a flat front. I've got what's called a cambered front. Uh, this was mainly just budget. This was the cheapest option at Express and uh, it would have uh, blown my budget to go. What I really wanted was the flat front which allows you to do the one-piece roof but couldn't afford it. So we got the cambered front and so far I'm happy. Uh, Another reason why I had them go ahead and install the windows for me, you can see all the bracing that they welded in to support this. Um, if I would have tried to save the money and put the window in myself, I would have had to reinforce all of this, plus cut the hole, get it right the first time, and uh, I figured I'd leave it up to them. 
so that's nicely reinforced. Uh, there is a few issues. I know this is sort of like this happens, so you can kind of see the reflection of the grass underneath coming off that aluminum. I do have some ceiling to do here in the front corners, um, but otherwise very solid build, very happy with uh, what we got here. All right, all the plywood's down except that front corner. Uh, it's getting late, tackle that tomorrow. Want to have the shorter uh, carriage bolts on hand when I'm ready to do the door, so it'll be a quick swap. Uh, well, anyway, bare walls. Next up, insulation. Uh, and I'll probably fill you in on the door on the next episode. I think this is going to be it for this one. Subscribe so you can follow along with the build. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. And thanks for watching.